الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله from the ways that we can protect ourselves from shirk you know defense mechanisms if you will comes the hadith of Hafsa رضي الله تعالى عنها the wife of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم uh, in which he said that, that when the Prophet وسلم, wanted to go to sleep, he would place his right, he would place his right hand under his cheek and say, Oh Allah, save me from the punishment on the day you resurrect your slaves. Sheikh Al-Mubarak Al -Mubarak Furi, Rahmatullahi Al or Mubarak Furi, he said, Since sleep has the same ruling as death, and waking is like resurrection, he supplicated with this supplication as a reminder of that state. Also, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wished that the last action he did was a remembrance of Allah the Exalted. So this shows us, Ahabat Tifillah, that how, how important a dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how we need to keep the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongue. And as we talked about prior to this, that if we... want to protect ourselves and we want the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the expiation of our sins and we want success fi dunya wal akhirah and we want protection from sins then remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the greatest uh, act of ibadah that we could be performing remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and even before one sleeps and that is indeed the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wa La Alihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad.